Hi, my name is Dr. Jay Desai and I welcome you all to this ninth video on gate series for metallurgical engineers. In this video, I am talking about diffusion, the introduction of it, the cause or driving force behind diffusion, the different factors which affect the diffusion process, and the applications where diffusion is desired and applications where diffusion is not desired. So when we use diffusion on a general basis, we are talking about the movement of species or the net flux of species. This species can be anything. It can be ions, atoms, electrons, holes, molecules, or any other thing. But when we are talking about diffusion in metallurgical engineering, we are usually talking about the net flux of ions, atoms, and molecules. Now, why does diffusion occur or what is the driving force behind diffusion? What leads to diffusion? So suppose you have a material where there is a concentration gradient or concentration difference. Means at some areas uh, the material has higher number of atoms or ions and in another areas the material has lower number of atoms and ions. So, it will try to minimize the concentration gradient and this the material does to produce homogeneous and uniform composition. Now why does a material wants to be in a state of homogeneous and uniform composition? It is because only in this state the material can achieve thermodynamic stability and as we all have studied that every material wants to be stable and to be stable the material should have a minimum free energy and to achieve this state of minimum free energy the material tries to be in a state where it can have homogeneous and uniform distribution of atoms ions or molecules and that is the reason behind the diffusion now what are the different factors that affect the diffusion so diffusion essentially um, there are two major factors which affect the diffusion. One is concentration gradient and another one is temperature. So concentration gradient is nothing but the difference in concentration. Suppose you have this as a system and uh, here you have a high concentration of atoms or ions and here there is low concentration of atoms and ions. So what is the difference between this area and this area that will affect the overall movement of species? That is why the concentration gradient contributes to the overall net flux of species. The second factor which affects diffusion is temperature. How the temperature affects the diffusion is given by Arrhenius equation. Arrhenius equation is rate equals to C naught EXP minus Q by RT or ln rate equals to ln C naught minus Q by RT. So if we plot a graph between ln rate and 1 by T, we will get something like this where the intercept is ln C naught and the slope is minus Q by R. So if you see this graph or if you analyze this graph, you will come to know that as we increase the temperature, the rate of the diffusion increases. And that is how the temperature influences the kinetics of diffusion. So that these are two factors which affect the diffusion process, concentration gradient and temperature. Now, there are certain applications where diffusion is desired that is, we want diffusion to occur and there are certain other applications where we do not want diffusion to occur. So let's talk about the first case where we want diffusion to occur or diffusion is desired. And the one example of it is surface hardening. That is, if we want to harden the surface of the material, for example, carburization of steels. So here what we are doing is we are trying to diffuse the carbon in the surface of steels so that the surface hardens of the steel and we can get good surface hardening. In this particular case, 
uh, diffusion is desired. The second example of applications where diffusion is desired is dopant diffusion. Suppose we want to make p-type or n-type semiconductors. Then we want the diffusion of boron and nitrogen atoms inside the silicon lattice. So in this particular scenario, the dopant diffusion, we want the diffusion to occur. And the higher the diffusion, the better we will get the P and N type semiconductors. Now, there are other applications also where diffusion is not desired. For example, coatings and thin films, which are applied to many materials or products. And these coatings and thin films, this will limit the diffusion of unwanted species like moisture and harmful chemicals. So, Diffusion is desired in some applications and diffusion is not desired in other applications. So that is all I have on diffusion for the moment. To watch more videos and support my work, please subscribe to my channel. And the next video will be on types of diffusion, mechanisms of diffusion and the activation energy for diffusion. Also, the viewers and subscribers are welcome to give topic suggestions and uh, I will see if I can make the video on that. If you have suggestions or queries on the content or if you have a possible opening or collaboration, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn, email or YouTube. Thank you.